I am now here with uh, Coach Stephanie Wade. Um, we've got a busy night here at CTU. Uh, quite a few kids out in the floor tonight, huh? Yeah, we have our, um, we're getting ready for our showcase this weekend. So we're kind of bringing them in, letting them see what it feels like to be in full uniform with the lights and kind of have a little bit of an audience, but hopefully get out their jitters a little bit before this week. That's good, good. Now, um, to your background, have you been in this industry for quite a while? Um, yeah, I cheered for Valdosta State University, um, and I danced for Valdosta, and then I cheered at high school in Georgia. Um, once I left Valdosta, I started a cheer program in Central Georgia, um, and then went on to cheer at a high school in Central Georgia for a few years before my husband got transferred here, and then this has been my home for the last seven years. Awesome. Good deal. Well, um, home for the last seven years here. You've been at Cheer City United for seven years. Uh, Probably been a lot of changes here. Um, what, what's uh, what's different now? You just started. What, what kind of take us through a little bit of Cheer City United history? Well, you know, when I first came in, I just kind of walked in and said, "Can I please have a job?" I've never not coached cheerleading, <laughs> and I was like, "I'm not going to start now, not coaching." Um, it's my love, and I've done it forever. So, um, you know, I've been with them when they were in a smaller gym. You know, we've always had a great a great love of kids and we've also had a big number of kids and we have a very big family um, and you know that's just grown over and over you know we've got new kids new skills and I think no matter what gym it is where it is every time a kid gets a new skill you still love it it's just like that first kid that got it five years ago you know every skill is so special so you know and we treat it like nobody else has ever done that before right. you know that kid has that moment to just have all the attention we can give them wow. you know so no matter how much we've grown that's one thing that has never changed wow. and it's probably the best part of the gym really well that's yeah. great um you can just tell you know when you start talking about this stuff i mean yeah. what kind of passion you have for, for the sport and also coaching um what makes be a, a cheer, your, your position, your job as a cheer coach, I mean, what, what makes it tick? I mean, what is it? What's so great about it? Well, you know, it's one of those places you go in and you forget the rest of the world exists. You know, it's like you get here and you love the sport so much that you just want to take these kids in your arm and teach them what you know, and hopefully they'll have the same passion for it. Um, it's a great outlet for kids. You know, some kids come in here with horrible backgrounds. You know, but they know they can walk in these doors and feel safe, and they're going to be loved the same everybody else. That's awesome. Now, uh, your kids here, you got a pretty unique, unique bunch? Yes. Um, yeah. I have a senior two team and a tiny team, and then I also have a daughter here that cheers on awesome. one of the senior teams. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So now brag on your kids here a little bit. Um, you kids. Well, you know, the kids are wonderful. They walk in, and, or the minute I walk in, or they're here, they run up and hug you, and they just, they think of you as a second parent or as a friend. You know, I've had kids that have come up and talked to me and said they needed me to help them talk to their parents about things. You know, so I think when they see you like that, they see you as a positive role model, it just pushes you to do it even more. That's awesome. Yeah. We're good. Well, I tell you what, we really appreciate your time. We really appreciate what you do for, for not only the industry, but kids in general. Awesome. And thanks again for your time. No problem. Thank you very much.